this world. I hate this world. There are just so many god awful things in it. I'm so sick of every single people that lives in it. I'm so pissed. I'm gonna go out in a place of glory. Bringing every single person that can in hell with me. Well, I guess I can wait. Hatred is an isometric shooter developed and published by Destructive Creations and it's the latest controversial game. A game that will be forgotten in about 2-3 to three months, even one month. In Hatred you play as the antagonist. It's a man who hates humanity, who hates life, who just says fuck it, I'm gonna kill everyone that I can before dying. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Everyone was really almost too hard against the game when the first trailer was released. It was a controversial trailer, sure. It did bring up some issues that many people have with uh, shootouts on the street, people getting murdered in a really brutal way. But when you actually play the game, it's really, really similar to Postal, the original one. In more than one aspect, and we're gonna get into the gameplay later. But regarding the story, the, it's really cheesy actually. <laughs> the dialogue, it's like one of those 80s revenge movies, only that you're not trying to avenge anyone, you're just trying to kill everyone. But it's not really that great a story, it's actually really, really stupid. But some people say that it has a deeper meaning, I don't think there is a deeper meaning. I think it's just a game, it's just a premise. You play as a guy and you must kill everyone that you can. And just move from one point to the other, killing everyone. There are no side characters, nothing really relevant, so... I'm standing for the story. The game has a Sin City vibe to it. It's black and white, with some red, usually blood or gasoline tanks, things that you can blow up, pretty much. Is it good? Yeah, it uses the Unreal Engine 4, which is a pretty good engine. Unfortunately, there isn't much detail in the characters, there isn't much variety of NPCs, the environments are pretty bland sometimes, especially because of the absence of color. The destruction is really well done, actually. That's one of the biggest props that I can give the graphics. But there are multiple glitches, and more than glitches, the game performs really badly, and even some great PCs do have FPS drops. So if you don't have a really powerful PC, you won't achieve 60 FPS, so that's a bummer. Let's get to the down and dirty the gameplay. You kill people. You have three guns and three types of, types of grenades. You go around and you kill every single person that you can. That's pretty much the entire premise of the game. And some people are criticizing it for being repetitive. I mean, the concept is, concept is repetitive, but the actual execu execution isn't really, because there are different things to do in the environment, there are like some frat parties, things like that, that if you destroy, you will get some respawn points that will make you alive again if you die. There are no objectives, really. You have to go from one point to the other, sometimes there are some hot spots where you have to kill everyone, like a political debate, a police station, stuff like that. And there are a total of uh, 10 levels, I don't remember, we put here the number. But I don't find the game repetitive because it just keeps going and going and going. You don't have time to stop the breathing because the police arrives pretty quickly. You can also drive the cars, which is really nice, but if you're driving them, they will get destroyed in just a couple of shots, so it's pretty pointless to use them. If you like Postal, the game is really similar. I don't, I'm talking about the first Postal, the one in 1999, 98, something like that. And they are really similar games, only that this one has bigger, much bigger areas, which is something that we really didn't expect. I expected it to be more close. Like, a level is gonna take you 5 minutes, no, it actually takes even 20 to 30 minutes sometimes. It just depends on how much, how many people you want to kill and how much you want to explore, even though there isn't really that much reward by exploring the environment, except for finding a few little secrets. They're always nice. The game is relatively challenging. Uh, the executions, which are the most controversial part of the game, 
they're used to refill your energy and after a while they get really annoying and really repetitive so you can just turn them off you can just go around press q you, you just see him shoot that boop okay fine let's go on don't stop the fluid just keep going run run shoot run run shoot the police is hard to kill there are some enemies that have vests and they will be a pretty damn problem for you but you can just keep shooting them shooting them shooting them they will go down there isn't a real boss there isn't a real well there is a challenge but it's mostly around about going around avoiding the enemy fire and you just keep strafing there isn't a cover mechanic or anything like that the sound is fine as uh, some of the sound effects for the guns aren't all that great and uh, the music can get a little bit repetitive even though it's pretty good it's hard rock uh, metal mumbo jumbo i don't really like the genre but it fits the game really well there are a total of 42 achievements there are multiple levels there is a real reason to go back playing the game other than just uh, finding some little secrets around the various areas but other than that uh, you would play it once maybe twice Develop the developers might add some new features like an endless wave mode or something like that but at the current state of the game there aren't really that many extras so hatred a controversial game is good it's actually a good game it's not perfect not great the scores i think i'm really pretty objective in the score some people are just hating the game because they want to hate it and that's fine if you hate something hate it uh, I found myself relatively enjoying the game, it did get a little repetitive in the long time but while you're playing it you're just... it's a mindless game, it's no different than going on a rampage in Grand, in Grand Theft Auto or destroying an entire part of the city in Postal 2 it's, it's another mindless shooter in the real sense of it, it's mindless and it's actually pretty enjoyable uh, in short bursts you can play it uh, maybe one or two levels at a time and you, it will be a blast to play